in the morning to be able to do so. So what we did is we kind of matched it up to what the majority of the businesses times that they are open to match up with what we do because we have to remember that the parking division is here to make sure that we get turnover in the downtown area. That's our, our most important, one of our most important functions so that we can get the turnover for the downtown businesses. So we want to match up better with their timing. And then one last thing. Um, in reference to the public works removes the snow, mm -hmm. but their time and their uh, comes out of the parking revenue, right? Is that, is a, that what you're saying? A portion of it, that's a, correct. A portion of it. Whatever is, whatever is parking responsibility, um, if you take the whole downtown and you know how much they have to plow, mm -hmm. they've broken it down to the percentage of our parking that's responsible to us that they, they actually charge off to our division. So it's possible that we could reconfigure, because that's just one way to finance things, where you could consider like making snow removal downtown completely public works and not have to draw it out of the, the uh, parking. Mm -hmm which would bring your expenses down. They'd bring them up on the public work side. But, I mean, it's just more than one way to skin a cat and just kind of wanted to throw that out there. Thanks. That was sort of the, my thinking until I thought a bit more about this, that, that snow removal and the responsibility is to the benefit of parking, and that's what the idea of the user fee is. Yeah. yeah, but if we go and transfer all the snow removal to public works, <laughs> then if the parking fund, sooner or later your expenses, if your expenses don't go up, that public works portion is going to be covered by us, the taxpayers, who may not use any of the parking spots. That's correct. It takes it from a user, user fee system and takes part of that and puts it back onto the taxpayer. Yeah. Um, the, Mr. Laro, maybe to the city manager, um, your position right now is a part-time position. And to yourself or to the city manager, is this a permanent part-time position or a temporary part-time position? I'm, I'm currently on a uh, contract for one year, and we're, we're in discussions of extending that for another year. Um, basically to, again, to reorganize and bring things together under one point. And um, the city manager may have more comment with that, but that's basically my understanding of it at this point. If I can redirect to the city manager, is, is this, is the future plan that this is going to be a permanent part-time position? So, what we're looking at right now is an experiment, and one of the reasons for this experiment was because we felt that there were so many moving pieces and that we needed one person to actually coordinate all of those different elements. We also see this, this particular position as a great liaison with the downtown uh, merchants in the district. And so, it, because there's, there's going to be a much more symbiotic relationship between our businesses and the city as we look at parking and we look at customer base. Uh, so we see this position going out for one year and then evaluating it and determining whether or not it should continue and in what form it should continue in. Okay. Okay. Any uh, public questions on the side of this conversation? 